Hey guys, welcome to the next Blender tutorial here on Active TV, and uh, let's dive straight into our next uh, our next project. So last week we looked at animation. I showed you keyframing. I showed you how to um, how you can get creative with your keyframes, and yeah, the next step that we need to uh, take is learning about something called armature bones. All right. And if you're not at all familiar with armature bones, I'm going to show you that now. So let's get Blender open. Not my desktop. Nobody cares about my my, my desktop. Uh, before we even get started with how to rig your character, we've got to have a basic level of uh, understanding of how uh, these armature bones work. So uh, just some basic, very basic rules. I'm gonna try and keep this, this, this tutorial as short as possible. Uh, hopefully three hours should, no, I'm joking. All right, should be fine. So when we animate, we use basically the armature. All right, it's these bones over here. Uh, you, you can think of them as your bones within your body. All right, except that these are the muscles as well. So not only does it keep structure of your mesh, but it also, uh, w whenever I'm animating, I'm actually animating each bone in individually, placing keyframes on how um, how I want them positioned, right? And that allows me to get whichever position I want. You can see it, it's uh, very similar to how we were uh, animating uh, last week with keyframes. And so that's how it's done. But now uh, I'm not going to dive too deep um, you know, all the way in to uh, armatures and bones and that um, because it can get very technical, but I'm going to keep it simple. I'm going to break up this uh, character animation while basically rigging up a character into two parts because this week what we're going to look is I'm going to show you very basically what a, a uh, armature bone, how it works. And then when you understand that we're going to rig a Lego man because uh, it's a very simple character, very stiff. There's no bending of the mesh involved in that. And then next week, in the next video, we will uh, look at rigging up a character where it has to bend the mesh and assigning automatic weights and etc. and etc. and so forth. Right. So first of all, the first thing is a a uh, those bones. So. Uh, shift A gets me this menu. I can go into armature. I can create a single bone. All right, hitting my tilde key, by the way, uh, gives me this menu over here. And if I have my object selected, I can say view selected and it zooms in on them. Or oh, I've got all the other views. That's a quick tip right there. That one's for free. So this is the bone. All right, there, there are other, uh, other cool ways. Uh, but Blender's basically giving you a human rig as well there for you, pretty cool. But um, if you don't have a lot of uh, experience with with bones and with rigging, then uh, I don't recommend you go there because you might get a bit uh, lost and confused. I rigged up the Lego, a Lego man and it didn't work as well. And I was battling, I sort of had it, but I didn't really have it and things weren't bending the right way, etc. and so forth. And then I did uh, I, I got down. I, I got down to um, yes, the very fundamental understanding of how bones work, which I'm going to show you now, and that changed everything. From there, I just put down everything. I'm like, okay, I get it now. I understand now. Mm, let's go forward, and I did, and I rigged my Lego man, as you saw there. So the first thing is this: obviously, creating my my bone, which I just showed you now. All right, a bone has three parts. Right, and exactly the same with any other mesh, I can go into edit mode, so I can press tab, and it's basically got uh, three parts here, the bone, which you can select, and in edit mode, you can move and manipulate as, as you need to. And that is that it has a head, right? And the head is the area of the bone where uh, the bone, it's the base of the bone, and it's also where the bone uh, pivots around, right? So if I have to go into pose mode, which we'll look at, if I click select this bone and I rotate it, you can see it's rotating around the base of the bone, right? So that's the first thing to take note. It's got a body, right? Which is the body of the bone. And then it's got a tail, all right? And the reason why it's got that, and this was something that I never really knew, 
is because okay so within edit mode I can take the bone uh, and I can I can move it around as I as need be you can see how whilst you are uh, busy creating your bone how the bone gets bigger when I move it further when you know m moving just um, the head or whether I will maybe move the the tail around or whether I am you know moving it to and from while well, I'm um, anyway so I can select a part and I can I can actually move each part around and you can see how they behave differently all right so in other words if I grab this end um, and I grab it you can see how the bone uh, changes shape changes direction etc same with this like a real bone and same with this okay so you can see how different uh, grabbing each part actually um, actually uh, and moving it around what it does you know, how, how it affects the whole bone now this is the part that's very important and this is the part that I didn't understand and then I understood it and I was like wow and that is parenting right, so if I select this and I duplicate it I'm still in parent mode All right let's go into pose mode you can see they don't affect each other I think this is where I needed to do the work but if I select now my one bone and select the other one whichever one I select last is going to be the parent right so now I take it parent it and they, and so you will see um, I can obviously make or clear so I can parent them now it's gonna give me two options connected or keep offset if I choose keep offset uh, it will be exactly what we saw before all right one does not affect the other one but when I go into parent mode the one will affect the other one and the other one won't affect the other other one all right very cool so um, hang on while I'm at it so if I select these and I go back there parent and I say clear I've got two options I can clear the parent all right or I can say disconnect okay so clear parents now just means you clear the parent that they, they, they don't affect each other now I want to do the other option right <clears throat> and I want to say connect and instantly what that does is it connects the two bones together and there you go and whichever one is the parent will affect the other one and not the other 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 one all right cool so let's undo that wow that was a lot of messing around all right there we go we're still we're still in edit mode I've cleared the parent and then of course um yes now the other thing that i didn't get because you might say yeah but ryan obviously that's obvious is this okay with 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 the bone itself so i'm i'm in edit mode with the bone itself okay so i can duplicate this as you saw and i can i'm able to make the one bone affect the other one great the other thing that i'm able to do is so remember i said that uh, the the head and not the tail the head of the bone is the pivot point uh, for the bone all right that is within pose mode all right so that means that let's say example I am creating um, let's just get to a proper view yeah so let's say eg i want to create an i i'm rigging the arm of the character which we're going to do right now all right keeping in mind that the head is the pivot point of the character it's important that uh, let's say i'm doing so i need to extend this so i can do it like this all right and i can press e extrude and that's what it does and then i can do this and i can say all right cool awesome there's uh you know there's the arm use your imagination so there's the arm the body's over here awesome so now uh, i decide i'm going to so i do all the work i parent the body with the, the the bone with the mesh and all of that and now i want to uh i want to you know so let's picture the bodies here and this is the arm the hands on the side okay and now let's say it comes to me wanting to animate all right what on earth is going on here that bone just connected from there how how do i uh, uh, 
it seems to be the other wrong way around. And this is where parenting is extremely important because you've got to understand that the base being the um, the, the pivot point, I need to extrude. So whatever comes out the tail, whenever you, you, you don't extrude out of the base, you need to extrude out the tail because what, wherever you extrude out the tail, that is going to be the child of the bone before, right? And that's important, right? Because let me show you, okay, rotate Y, 90 degrees. Okay, not exactly what I was looking for, but we'll go with it, right? So let's say now, okay, there you go. So let's say the body's here and the hand is on this side, right? And this is where the functionality of this works. So this being the whole arm, if I rotate, that means the whole arm is gonna uh, move along with it. Uh, let's say I want to rotate by the elbow, that's gonna work nicely and maybe that's only the hand itself. And you can see that that is how the bone's supposed to function. So understanding that, uh, you know, helps you when we're going to rig up our, our ligament, okay? That is the most important part. So again, if you're going to uh, add, add on another bone, like I showed you, you'll have connected or you can keep offset, which I've, I've, I've taken it through, I've showed you, oh yeah, something cool. Um, I don't know if this is gonna help you now, but I know it's gonna help someone. I'm a, I didn't know this, but I can actually subdivide this bone and it adds more bones. <laughs> Pretty cool. Breaks them down nice and small like that. Uh, maybe, you know, a spine, you know, whatever that may be. And then I've showed you how to extrude and I've also showed you how to clear the, the parent. Right. Fabulous. Let's see how quickly we can rig up our Lego man with that said and done. Okay. So like I said, we're going to do a very stiff Lego man this week. Okay. Um, just because we're not going to, like I said, we're not going to do any bending. So I'm gonna place the bones today and then I'm gonna show you very quickly, hopefully we can do this very fast. I'm going to show you how I can, how, how we're going to uh, parent the bones to the actual mesh itself. Okay, so let's see how quickly we can get this done. So I've got my bone if you want to as well. Mm, quick tip. So you'll see we, we got an extra menu added on here when we add these bones in. So if you want, you can actually go and press, uh, I believe it's option Z, and you can work like this to help you place the bones because you know I'm going to be placing like that. Keeping in mind how my ligament's going to bend. All right, should I go into modeling mode or layout? Yes, let's go into layout mode. I feel like I need more, more room here. Right, so I'm going to select that. Go into edit mode. So when you place your bones, go into edit mode. I'm going to select the head. Okay. And like I said, understanding that my Lego man is going to um, is going to bend back and forward like that. The base, the, the 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 head of the bone is the pivot point, right? And then I think I'm going to press E again, and I'm going to extrude, and that will be. Oh, and by the way, something to help you is when you extrude. Uh, don't just freely, um, you know, move and extrude. Use your uh, Z, your X, Y, and Z axes, axis, axes to to extrude. That way, you make sure that it's it's good. All right. Now I would need to do the arms. So I'm going to take, e.g., this bone. This bone's already parented to this bone, so that's cool. Shift D. You can see it keeps the parenting because what that means is that when I bend the back, the arms are going to follow. All right. So yeah, there you go. I'm going to take this guy over here and I'm going to grab it up. So I'm going to press G and I'm going to press shift X. That means that I'm going to move this bone uh, in the Y and the, and the Z axis without moving the X. All right. So I'm going to do something like that. All right. Make sure it covers the arm there. Remember, it's still connected to there. 
Um, something I haven't quite gotten right as well, maybe today by fluke it's gonna work. You can actually mirror what you do, which is pretty cool over here. Okay, I think maybe I've got the, yeah, the, um, the actual uh, excess wrong. Okay, but more on that next week, I'll show you that when I, e.g., when I duplicate the arm, that it'll duplicate, it'll do everything this side as well. Okay, let's continue. So grab, shift X to exclude the X axes. All right, brilliant. Take this guy, duplicate. Let's do exactly the same thing. Now from this, from this view over here, which is quite nice, I can actually see where my other bone is sitting. All right, so I can match that up about over there. Grab that. Uh, okay, grab, exclude X again. And the same for this side, I can see that my other arm bone is over there. All right, brilliant. Now, the legs, I need to do the same. So, um, what, I don't want the legs to be affected by my back bending. All right, so what I can do is I can create a new bone or I can take the main bone, shift D. I hope this is the right way I've done this. My goodness, that's not exactly the right thing to be saying. You watching my tutorial, hey? but anyway, I'll make the mistakes and I'll teach you what I what I did wrong. So it looks like it's still the parents of there. All right, let's test it out. So pose. So uh, if I take this leg and I bend it, it bends by itself. If I take the back and I bend it, okay, the arms aren't bending, but that's okay. Don't worry. We'll get there. I, I think this is good. So let's continue in edit mode. Select this guy. I'm going to duplicate it. Press Y. Shift it over. All right. And then there's one more thing that I'm going to do. And I will show you. I'll show you why. And that is I'm going to duplicate this guy. And I'm going to put him about over there and rotate Y. 90, oopsie, grab, shift Y, because now I'm excluding, okay, wait, 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 rotate 180, because that's the base, okay, very cool, so, what we picked up, um, already is that, the bones aren't doing what they're supposed to be doing, I mean, this guy probably does, yep, so he rotates around there, if I move this dude, the head will follow along but not the arms no problem remember we did this already so I select my arms select that bone over there let's go back into edit mode right click and parent make and I'm gonna say keep offset because they got to stay with if I connect them those bones are gonna glue to they're gonna move out of position right there you go uh, pose mode select this guy move it along see now the arms are gonna follow just like any human, uh, yeah, figure will do. I think, uh, there you go. All right, and then the last thing that I want to do is, this will be the bone to move everything. So everything must be parented. When this guy moves, everything moves. All right, so yeah. So now I select all my bones. You'll see we've actually got uh, here in my collections, got all my bones here. And by the way, when a bone is a parent of another bone, it will put itself under. So you can see that this bone uh, has that as its child, that as its child, that as its child. All right, just in case you want to know. So I am going to select this guy. Oh, and you can name it as well. Just in case, uh, yeah, you don't want to get lost. So I'm going to call this spine. And then uh, call it head and call this one left arm L underscore arm. Obviously, in my other ligament that I showed you, I had a bone to control the hands as well. Okay, so 
to select this guy. This is going to be my right underscore arm. The reason why I put the underscore score is there is because Blender does not accept spaces there, so you can put dots as well. All right, great stuff. And yeah, I think we do the same. So that is my left leg. L underscore leg here R underscore leg and the last guy right which is going to be I'm gonna call this my main right. okay very cool then I want to select all of them all right now I know I don't have to select these bones because they're already parented to my spine so I know that when I move the spine the other ones will move as well so that that should be cool and I'm going to select my main bone last right click oh, I'm in pose mode edit right click parent make keep offset there you go now let me show you what I'm talking about so there you go quick rig that's my spine when I bend it the arm and the head is going to move along uh, my arms can move uh, individually my legs can move individually nothing else moves along with it it's not going to affect anything else and same with my head this uh, the head we're probably going to be rotating unless you want your your lego man's head to you know come off and move around and this is my main my main bone which moves the entire armature all right there you go now uh, the best way to do this is basically now to I think it's in object mode to select my Lego man you've got to select everything so you'll see uh, there's my armature select body all the hands and legs and all of that stuff and pelvis and then yeah you want to select your armature last right click p now you're going to get a set of options here right you can obviously object keep transform but then there's these armature deform options here with empty groups with envelope weights with automatic weights so automatic weights we'll look at next week that's where it assigns a specific part of the mesh to a specific bone uh, that allows your lego man to bend and stuff like that i'm gonna say with empty groups hopefully that'll work so what it's going to do it's not going to move yet i've got to go in and assign each one each part of the the bone right i'm nervous because i haven't really practiced this part so what i've got to do is go into my object mode select eg my head and i believe that i can go into weight painting so what I've so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to select I'm going to paint which part of this object uh, will be affected by which part of what bone all right now uh, with my different bones if I go into uh, uh, my vertex groups over here you'll see it's actually select it's actually created vertex groups with the different bones that you've done so that's what's nice about us um, assigning let's do the leg I almost feel like uh, yeah we need to make this fast and we, uh, we'll do that by doing one and you can do the rest so let's do weight painting right um, so right now uh, you can see it's blue which means that none of it's selected I can paint and you can see how it's got different colors we're gonna get into that next week right and that's because it's assigning a specific um, part of the mesh like I said to a specific bone right so right now first I've got to select my uh, oh there you go okay I've got it right over here so you'll see you got this option paint mask or vertex selection so I'm going to uh, go into vertex selection and I'm gonna say select all right which everything should be selected mm. oh yes it is selected okay all right it's white can you see it's white there now nothing selected if I press a I select everything and then uh, this bone over here 
I'm going to say assign. Right, there you go. So now it's red, it's assigned. Let's have a look. I'm gonna go into object mode. Okay, I'm going to select my armature, go into pose mode. Let's have a look. Are you ready? Hold your breath. Here we go. And there you go. Okay, if I go out of... Let's go back into object mode. I'm going to go and there you go. And now you can see how just that bone is affecting just the leg. Okay, so let's go through this again, shall we? <laughs> just to show you that it works. Right. I'm going to I'm going to do this other leg over here now. All right. I am going to go into weight paint mode. Not vertex, weight paint. All right. Everything selects already. If it's not um, if it looks like that, press A. I'm going to select all of it and as I know that is my right leg. So then I'm going to go uh, right leg. Assign. Fully red. Brilliant. Go into object mode, select my armature, go into pose mode. You can check each one if you want to. And there you go. Bob is your uncle. All right. And so you can continue with that until eventually. Let just save my project here. Until eventually you basically have all of your bones selected and each one of your armature bones so looking at this lego man over here all right uh, you can see i've created the hands uh, you can see i've created another bone over here just for this part and so you should be stuck not stuck because that's not stuck you should then be able to rotate your guy your lego man as freely as you want okay and uh, feel free to create uh, some keyframes you know how to create keyframes right you select the bone right click insert keyframe <laughs> all right if you don't know you can go through the tutorial from last week and you can create all your different uh, keyframes here all right and then you can rig up your character right there okay and so what we're going to do is next week, we will basically go into keyframing my character. All right, step by step. Uh, the easiest way to do it, um, as I've spoken before, because um, there was a very difficult way that I did it, that I thought worked and it didn't. And then I found out how the animators really do it. And it's a lot easier. All right. So guys, I hope that that has blessed you as, what, as much as what it's blessed me. All right. I actually got into character animation. I enjoyed it and I'll definitely do it any day again. Really awesome. But next week we're going to animate uh, this guy do a simple uh, animation. Going to show you the easiest way to do it. Why don't you guys create your bones, rig up your simple character rigging. And then after we've animated this guy, we're going to look at, at a more advanced rigging because obviously our Lego man here has, has got very stiff parts like a robot almost. And what we want to do is like a human being where the mesh bends, right? The mesh bends and fingers and all of that stuff. How do we do that? It's quite, it's not, it is intense. It is quite intense. It's very high level. I'm not going to go very advanced in it. I'm going to go very simple level um, for those who are wanting to, who are starting off with rigging this, you know, getting your toe uh, dipped in you know you're just dipping your toe maybe you're putting your foot or your feet in <laughs> and then uh, because you know sometimes if you want to go really advanced you've got to start off with a very basic level you got the basic understanding then uh, yeah you can go for a dive so guys until until the next video or until next week see you guys next week and please remember to like this video because i know you liked it hit the subscribe button to support what we're doing here and uh, yeah i'll see you guys next week cheers